Hello, Georgie Burns back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. I don't think you can see it. Ah, oh, there it is. All the embossing on it. Um, to make this card I used the stamp set Blessings from Home. Of Home, sorry. And I just used that image, the flower, small flower. The Happy Birthday, I don't know where it came from. I found a loose stamp. So I've used that. You can use any happy birthday you want. This one's got have a perfect birthday on it. But I just wanted a small one and I found that. Um yeah, and I just coloured in. The embossing folder is called Parisian Flourish. This one here in the catalogue. This was a gift for me. I found it on my through my letterbox when I came home from the hospital last year. Not a gift from Sarah. So I thought I'd use it again. I've used it before. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folding in half. I have got the embossed piece at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, which will go on there, which will stick on now. This is just a quick, easy card, I think. This stamp set is getting well used this time. I think I've got one more to film with it and then I shall store it away and use some other ones because I have done a lot of these as you can tell. You'd be fed up looking at them. Right, the flowers these are two and I have already cut them out, coloured them in and cut them out. I could just stick them on and say that's it, but I won't. I will stamp a flower and colour it in for you. And so I've got a scrap for that and a scrap for the sentiment. So let's get stamping. So the flower I use Memento blacking. The reason I'm using this is because um, the markers, the uh, blends like that stamp better than my other one, the Versafine. There we are. Let's just my cloth over the top. Right, and then I use the Versafine for my happy birthday. Like that. that I will cut down in a minute. But first of all I'm going to colour this in. Right, for all the leaves I'm using dark so saffron. Make them lush. Lush colour leaves. Right. This won't get wasted, it will be used another time. I do make cards off camera, obviously. I mean, 
I don't film every card I make. Although I do try to make cards for filming. I'm trying to get ahead on this year's family's birthday cards. next month, March, uh, February I've done my sister's cards, Moira's card, my card pal, her birthday, same day as mine. When you see this our birthdays will be well and truly over. Right, I've got Dark crumb cake for the stems. I want some of this dark crumb cake to go around the edge of my centerpiece of the flower and then I get Daffodil Delight and blend in the soft suede center of these little flowers there. Right, I've got light highland heather and light purple posy. Right, with a light purple posy I'll go in and do these little flowers. And I colour them in completely. And with the big one with the light island there, I just do the Shaded bits of the flower. And then I cut that out using the dies that go with and you would run that through your uh, die cut machine. But as I've already cut out two, I don't need to cut that out. So I've got two there. Now these, oh, I stick these together. Get my glue. And what I do is stick them like that. And move that and just put some glue. on the bottom where it is 
touching. Make like a bouquet. And then I put this on dimensionals. Take all the backings off. And then we'll place that in the middle of our card, like that. I'll tell you what I haven't used is gems. I've never put gems on any of them. Well, we'll sort that out in a minute. Right, we're going to cut this. Yeah, we'll cut this down first. And this will go go across there, so I just need to put a dimensional on each end. Um, let's do a big one. that down there like that. Right, I'm just going to get my gems Some of these on. Uh, right, we're going to put one there, two there, two there, and one there. Not an odd number. Another one there. That's it. 
Let's put on this one as well. There we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday and a Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.